Hi there, my name's Claire and I'm currently kind of halfway through treatment for uh, breast cancer. And I wanted to share my experience with you um, on how I have minimised the use of medical uh, prescriptions. I always had the intention of wanting minimal medical intervention. I would have gone down the road of trying to heal it naturally before I went down that road. But as my diagnosis became clearer, I felt intuitively that I did need to have chemotherapy in order to minimise or to stop the cancer from spreading. It was growing and spreading as I was having tests. So in a way that really helped my decision because I really, uh, before this, I would have always said I would never have had chemotherapy. So that's one thing I've learned as well is to keep an open mind either way. Um, and also, you know, to really uh, listen into what's happening to you and your body and make decisions from that place and that's the other point we we make we are making our own decisions throughout this journey yeah every step of the way i've asked questions i've done my own research and i've made my own mind up and when you come from that point you're then it's your choice then that's in a place of empowerment and and you know you're 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 it's not like you're taking control but you're taking ownership and that in itself is, is empowering and healing um and it's, it's really the antidote to feeling like help, helpless in the situation. So, so my truth was that I did need chemotherapy and I'm, I, I did. Uh, I, I could tell after the first round, it kind of almost, I didn't really think I could feel the lump after the first round. Um, after the second lump, I definitely didn't think I could, uh, round, I definitely didn't think I could feel it. And then the, the oncologist couldn't, said she couldn't after the third round. And then an MRI scan after the fourth round verified that it, I've had a full radiological response. Um, I intuitively felt that I only needed the four rounds. I, you know, I, again, I've been listening to my body. I've been doing everything I can, which I'll talk about in other clips, to support my body. So it's not an accident that that's happened. I've made, played my instrumental part in that. Um, and intuitively, so I did a meditation and asked, connected with my higher power about how much chemotherapy I needed and it was four rounds and that's what felt right for me. Um, however, I am a mother, single mother of three beautiful girls and I actually decided to take one more round for them and dedicate it to them and that felt in my alignment. My truth was that I only needed four rounds but actually it felt quite, quite, uh, it felt right for me to take an extra round for my kids because I felt that I would rather have a round of chemotherapy I didn't need than have to tell my kids I didn't have a complete pathological response. And the only way you know if you've had a complete pathological response is post-op. Um, I also meditated on that as to whether or not I even needed a, an operation, if I've had, obviously, a complete response. Um, and the response there was, no, but it will give you a peace of mind. Um, and I think, you know, where I'm still young and with kids, I thought a peace of mind is gonna go a long way and, you know, I believe the trigger for my cancer was uh, stress, physical stress, psychological stress, emotional stress, you know. So a peace of mind is uh, very valuable in terms of living a stress-free life. So I, and my body is very physically strong and I'm very, very healthy. So, so knowing, you know, it's, it's all about knowing you and where your strengths lie and what's going to help you in your journey. And for me, I felt as though taking an extra round that I might not need and then having an operation that I might not need, but that will give me a peace of mind which was my path. Also, it will help me choose my choice of treatment moving forward. So the information I get from the uh, tissue that they've removed in my operation, well, then I'll decide whether or not I have radiotherapy, whether or not I can continue my immunotherapies for a year, which is the standard treatment protocol. You know, if I've had a complete pathological response, I may well opt out. So, so, so there's a bigger picture always here to look at. Um, but I am really pleased I did choose to have chemotherapy. I did an awful lot to support myself during it. I can honestly say I didn't have a bad day. I had a few moments that were that I had to really bring my mind back to the present moment on. Um, I never, I was never sick. I never even really felt sick and I didn't take any side effect medications. I mean, I took literally, I think, one steroid and one anti-sickness tablet the first round because I thought I should take something rather than nothing. But after that, nothing at all. And I, I, I don't need any, 
any oncologist or, or, or clinical study trial to tell me that what I've done has helped. <laughs> I know it has. Um, you know, and I'll talk about everything that I've done in other in other um, in other videos. But my message here is that there's an awful lot you can do to support yourself and your body during whatever treatment you choose to have and come from that place of empowerment. So I'm just showing you here all the medications. This is what I got given after my first round of chemotherapy. Yeah, so, and I said, to, I did ask my oncologist, can, can I not have the side effect medications and only have them if I need them? And she said, mm, you really, she said, no, she said, you really need your steroids in your anti sickness. I think you really need your steroids in your anti sickness. And I didn't have them. So I, but I would have done if I had felt I needed them, but I didn't. So that's from where I came from. You obviously make your own choices. But for me personally, um, you know, I really trusted my body. I was doing an awful lot to support it systemically, holistically. Um, and that was my truth to go in and decide if, to decide if I needed it or not. And actually, no, I did check with my oncologist that the steroids weren't to help the chemo be effective. And she confirmed it, that that wasn't the case. So then I moved forward, safe in the knowledge that it was simply about how I was feeling. So there's all the medication that I haven't taken simply from round one. So imagine how much medication I might have taken if I had had it all, all the way through. Um, and of course, all medication is broken down in the body, in the gut. It all has side effects. So from my perspective, I wanted to limit how much medication I didn't need in terms of, of helping the cancer cells to uh, die um, and that then is going to help my body be able to cope with the side effects of the chemotherapy and in particular the digestive tract because for the best one in the world your digestive tract is going to be heavily affected by chemotherapy again I think I minimized that as much as I could I served pretty on balance for the first three rounds and I had a tipping point around the fourth round and then I had a bit of a bloated stomach and and um, you know had to be extra extra you know, apply extra um, things to try and counter that. So, and, the, and I came back from operation on Tuesday, and again, they've given me these two big packs of paracetamol, and a massive pack of ibuprofen, another uh, codeine, um, more pain relief, and then they give you something, because the pain relief can cause uh, diarrhea or constipation, so then you get more medication for that. So this is what happens when you start going down the road in, when you're in under the treatment of, of the Western medicine, is that every time you get a side effect from a drug they're giving you, they their answer is another drug, and and that may well work for for people and best of luck. But for me personally, I wanted to set the intention of absolute minimal medication for side effects, and I I've dealt with all my side effects naturally. Um, so, and I've had out of that lot that they've given me, I've had three ibuprofen since it's now Sunday, I'm operating on Tuesday, and that was it, and I feel fine. Um, you know, I get an odd shooting pain from the um, nerves being affected from my lymph node di dissection, um, but I have been taking turmeric except, uh, for the helping with inflammation. Obviously, I'm already on a non-sugar diet and, you know, very a healthy, healthy diet and um, turmeric and uh, increased vitamin C as well as other supplements that I'm already on. So I've managed to now not need all this medication and with each round of chemotherapy they would have kept giving me more as well but I just obviously said I didn't need it and I didn't have anything else during my chemotherapy and I can honestly say that chemotherapy was not the gruelling experience I have anticipated it would be because of stories I've read, um, films. It doesn't matter, you know, what context it is. I hadn't come across any, any even in, in the natural books, it's all oh, chemotherapy was awful, so then I went natural. In the medical books, chemotherapy was the worst part of the treatment. I never want to go through that again. I couldn't bear after the first round. Um, I can honestly say I went into every round completely ready for it. I could have carried on. I stopped early because I didn't feel like my body needs it anymore. I didn't stop because I had awful side effects and I didn't think I could carry on. My life didn't stop on chemotherapy. Um, yes, I listened to my body. I rested. I had days when I felt tired, but I didn't, don't feel like I missed out on anything. I went swimming in the sea most days. 
when I didn't go, it was because of the weather. It wasn't because I couldn't go. Um, and the times when I just wanted to chill out and rest, because rest is healing, sleep is nutrition, uh, I enjoyed that because that's what was right for me. That's what my body needed. And so that's empowering. So, you know, yes, I, I minimised the amount of work I had to do so I could really focus on healing. Um, but I never felt ill. I, I felt tired. Um, I had a few emotional days. I think it definitely triggered my menopause because I haven't had a period since the first week of starting treatment. And I've had a few teary days, but nothing major at all. Um, so I guess my, my main message out there is that if you are going down the road of chemotherapy, there is so much you can do to support yourself mentally, physically and spiritually that will transform your experience. I could have had a completely different experience and I, and I, and I, I can honestly say, if anything, I kind of enjoyed it, <laughs> you know, and as far as you can. You know, because there's things that have come from this last few months that wouldn't have come if I hadn't have had this experience. So it's the way you frame things and the way you think, the way you perceive, um, and the power lies within you. You make, you can make your own choices. You don't have to do everything that's recommended or suggested. But I do recommend you use your discernment. You do your research, and you meditate, and you do what's right for you. That is so important. And nobody can tell you what's, what, what is right for you. And, you know, it's very difficult, very difficult to really to, to, to feel so strong and passionately about it. That you can then follow that through when you are being bombarded with so many different research studies, projections, stories, beliefs. You know, the way we are conditioned from a young age, from the thing, films we watch on TV, you know, trusting the doctors, you know, every film you watch with somebody going through cancer, or that I've watched, the, the chemotherapy, you know, they're literally not being able to walk along along the road. Um, you know, and, and so I went into it with apprehension. So my first week was my hardest week. And that's because I was thinking I was going to turn into a frog or something <laughs> because of everything else I'd read and, and uh, watched. And it, it just wasn't, um, you know, yeah, it was... Of course it wasn't I, I didn't feel the same as i normally would but um it but it wasn't anything like the grueling experience that i have anticipated it would be and i was geared up for it to be so um yeah lots more videos to come on on how i feel as though i help myself um but just this one really just to show that you don't have to take the side effect medication you know my intention was uh, you know, obviously I'm really grateful that I've had the medication I've had. I, I know it's helped. I know it's got rid of the cancer. I don't actually feel like I've got cancer anymore. Well, I'll be, that will become uh, clearer after my results come back. Um, you know, so, so, you know, I think we need to keep open minds, whether, what, what, whatever side we're on, keep an open mind, have a flexible mind. Um, and, you know, I just wish you all the best in making the wisest decisions for you. They're not easy decisions to make, but the power lies within you. The truth lies within you. And uh, I just encourage you to follow your own path. Good luck.